Hey everybody, I've got a uh, toy box here that I purchased a few weeks ago and we've had some fun with it. We've printed a lot of kind of neat things. Uh, kids and I have enjoyed it. Uh, one issue that I did run into though was um, we had some prints that stopped. Um, we tried to print that that pineapple cup, I guess what you call it. And of course it, it stopped just after the bottom layer here. Um, the printer kept going, thinking that it was extruding still, but you know it kept trying to print, but nothing was coming out of the nozzle, um, and it didn't seem, you know, even if even if the uh, printer food, the filament was down inside the uh, the top of the printer there, um, couldn't seem to get it to go through. Something was stuck, and so I stopped the print and pulled everything apart, um, or at least pulled the food out, and you can see. Real closer, if I can find on one one of these edges here, you can see just a little divot, right? I can't quite see it, just right right here. See that little spot missing right there? So there's little lines on the edge of there, um, and those little lines are the extractor gear that's actually inside here that spins, pulling the the filament down into the heating nozzle and then pushing it, of course, out through the end and, and making your print. So I've done this once before. I pulled it apart and I cleaned everything and I got it to work. And I think it's just I think it's just done it again. So what I'm going to do is take this apart and show you how to get to that gear and how to clean it. Um, one little thing that I've done. I know the toy box comes with little Allen wrenches that you can use, and I have just taken a small magnet. This is from a hard drive, just a hard drive magnet, and just I just stuck it on the bottom of the unit here so that I always have these wrenches ready to go because it seems like I use them quite often to either adjust the print bed to make sure everything is um, at the right distance and then also to take apart the heating assembly and remove the fan and whatnot. So I'm going to do that real quick. I'm going to use, I think it's the second one, um, and I'm going to take off, there's a screw on this side and a screw on that side, and this front plastic cover will come off. I'll do that right now. Okay, so I've loosened those two screws. There's the one right there on this side. And there's one right there on that side. And this little plastic cover will come off. You'll have to make sure you don't have any filament in there, of course. And this um, little cable will come out here, too. So come out of this uh, little hole. There's a little spot right there where the cable runs, right down there. So take that cover off. You'll see the front of the device. Here's the cooling fan. And the piece we need to get to is actually right behind that little silver um, bolt right there. And that's actually the pin that that gear sits on, I believe. So we need to take these two off here. The fan itself comes off. Um, I think when we take, I don't know if I have to take those off, but I'm going to take, yeah, I think I have to take those two screws off. So I'll see if I have to take the fan off. Two Phillips heads there, and then back to the Allen wrench, the medium-sized one, and I'll take these two pieces off here, and we'll get back into that gear. Okay, I've taken the two screws for the fan out. You can see it's come down here. So there's two Phillip, two kind of long Phillips screws right here for the fan, and then the two Allen head wrenches for this top piece here. This whole piece comes out. It slides off of off of that gear, and if you look, you can see it quite well right there. You can tell. Let me get a small little. Let me get a small little bit here. You can see real easily the filament that is now stuck in those gears. See that? So when that filament gets, when that gear gets full of filament, it will strip. And that's why, that's what causes the filament to stop feeding. So as this filament comes down in here, if for whatever reason, if you've got a kink in the filament or a bind back in here, if the, if the, if the filament can't feed freely, it's going to stick in that gear and that gear is going to spin and it's going to chew away at the filament until it can't grab anything and then it's not going to feed any further down inside the, uh, down in there. So it's not too hard of a fix. I'm just going to take this and I'm going to use, you could use something like a toothpick. Um, I'd recommend not using something too hard because I don't, I don't want to wear away at the teeth here. I just want to clean, you know, just, just those grooves out. I just want to clean that up real, a little bit. Um, you can spin this. It won't hurt anything. It'll spin just a little bit. Um, and then you can, of course, continue cleaning out the gears in there. So I'm going to clean that out, get a little brush, and, and finish cleaning that, cleaning that off. This little gear here is also replaceable. So, of course, you can use the other Allen wrench to pull that out, pull it off the shaft, and then replace that if needed. However, um, I kind of wonder if 
toy box couldn't have done a little better job of having either a slightly larger gear so it can grab a little better, um, you know, or something that, that pinches the, uh, the filament just a little, a little more and pushes it. So I'll play around and see if there's any other way to do this. But anyways, I'm going to clear all this off and show what it looks like before I put it all back together. Okay, I'm almost done cleaning here, but I wanted to show you. I actually just grabbed one of my kids' um, toothbrushes, just a, one of the spare ones we got from the dentist. Um, and of course, they're good at cleaning teeth. Haha, -ha, dad joke. So uh, this worked really good. I just used that to actually brush out um, all of the teeth there. You can see as we spin that around, it actually does a pretty good job of cleaning all that stuff out. Got it really clean. So um, I think this little toothbrush will become a permanent attachment for the toy box. And it needs a kid's toothbrush. So. I'm going to clean all that out and make sure it's free of any debris. And it's pretty good there. We're going to put it all back together and see if we can start this print all over again. Something I am, I am going to do from now on is, um, as I'm putting the filament onto the toy box, I'm um, going to make sure that uh, I cut off any ends that are bent. And then also make sure there are no kinks in the line somewhere. And we'll go from there. Thanks for watching. Okay, one last thing I wanted to show before we put everything back together is this um, this piece here. When it's put together, oh, sweetie. When it's put together, that uh, that piece is is where the filament goes through. So this sits inside here, up against that gear. When you pull it apart, yeah, I didn't hold that for me. When you pull it apart you'll see on the inside a very small gear or pulley I guess I should say just to it, again it's just where the uh, the filament slides against and it's supposed to have a little bit of grease on it so that when it's put in there it will spin freely and that is where the filament comes down through here and, and rests against that gear that gear is what this pulley I guess I should say a slider pushes against the the extruding gear right there so um, you need to have grease on the spindle so that it floats freely and moves. But I think I'm going to clean this up and actually actually remove the grease from the face right here. I think I can see some grease in there. I'm going to move that out, clean it up with a Q-tip or something, and then keep the grease on just the just the spindle part because I want this gear to grab on the on the filament. So I want it to be able to move, but also keep good pressure on that filament. And I think I'm going to clean that up a little bit, see if that fixes the issue. So. Once that's done, you can just put this piece back together. Um, you'll slide that back onto uh, right up there. You slide that back on, put your screws on, and then we'll do a quick test run to make sure that we are extruding uh, correctly. So I think I'm going to retry, uh, reprint this little pineapple cup or whatever. Uh, it's a four hour job, but that should be a good test to know that um, the you know the gear is doing its job and working because we did this print after quite a few other prints and I think it just the gear itself had started to fill up with debris from slipping on other filament so we'll try that and we'll come back with the test print all right we've got everything put back together I uh, got the shroud put back on mine tends to move a little bit so you may want to watch and just make sure that the top piece here is aligned with that hole because mine was actually loose enough that it would slightly cover that hole, so of course you do, you want to leave that free so that the filament doesn't bind. Um, so we're ready to start. Um, we just boot it up. We're going to load our filament and start our print. Okay, we've got our toy box back online. Um, we're ready to um, try our filament here real quick. And one thing I've noticed too, and I did this is a mistake I made when I first got the toy box, is when we were trying to feed the filament. Um, I would, I would just, you know, you have to come down here and you have to hit insert. Uh, once it gets to up to about 185 or 190 degrees Celsius, then you can start actually inserting the, the printer food, the filament. Um, and a lot of times I was just hitting like one time and then nothing would print. And so I've learned through trial and error that you have to keep hitting insert until you see, at least I do this, until I see the filament actually come out of the nozzle. Um, and then I'm ready to print. And then right before, right, right when I hit print, I quickly just grab whatever little pieces are hanging off just to clear the nozzle so that it's not, you know, kind of floating around on the tray. So, should be ready here. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing this. I'm going to watch this, make sure you can, if you slightly pinch right here when you feed, uh, when you hit insert, 
you'll feel it pull just a tiny bit. And that's that gear in there just slowly moving and pulling that filament down. So I'm going to keep doing that. It takes about eight or nine times before you start to see um, stuff come out of the extruder. I also do this when I switch filaments. So if I'm switching colors, there we go. I'm going to do that a couple more times. Okay, so it's feeding pretty good. It's coming out all right. Um, you can pull the filament off, and we are ready to start. So I'm going to send a, I'm going to send this pineapple planter, I guess is what it's called, back to the the printer, and we'll see how it goes. All right, <clears throat> looks like we've got good adhesion. Make sure we're uh, calibrated okay. You can usually tell after the first layer or so. If it, if it looks like it's getting smashed into the bed just a little bit, that's good. And you know it's gonna stay. Okay. So we're gonna let this print. This takes four hours, and I'm not gonna make you watch that much video. So we will come back and see how it does. Thanks again for watching. Okay, just a quick update. Um, it is still printing. It's printing further than it did last time. So cleaning out the extruding gear seemed to help quite a bit. We'll just let it keep running. Okay, so here's the finished product. Um, came out great. And apparently that uh, cleaning out the extruder gear there really did work. So anyways, I hope that helps other people. Uh, it's a pretty easy fix. It only took me about two minutes once I got it figured out. And uh, yeah, there you go. Thanks for watching.